Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. Guys, we are doing the next conversation. Where is our next conversation? What, where are we headed towards? What are we going to be talking about? But this reading, guys, is for new connections where we do not have a history or a past together. If you're looking for the reading where we do have a history and a past, the timestamp is in the description box. <clears throat> You can hit that one. It'll take you to that reading uh, where we already have a history and past. Let's jump in. I'm pulling their energy and your energy. Y'all know the energies can be reversed. I can be reading them in reverse. Y'all's energy gets so entwined it's hard to tell sometimes who who's who. But I have to choose to be able to get the reading done coherently. <laughs> yes. Let's jump in. Let's get the strongest new connection forward for my Pisces. Let's get their person energy first. Your person's energy first. Let's see what's going on with them. Ooh, we've got a full card. Somebody's willing to take a chance. Yes, they are the full card. Mmm, I like that. Hmm, but if, if it, they're in the shadow side of it, they may be feeling like they've made a fool of themselves. Ooh, let's see your energy. <clears throat> it's for my Pisces. Show me their my Pisces energy, please. Where's their energy? Pop. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Look at you. Wow, guys, I love this. You do you directing the energy? <laughs> yes, you are. Somebody's following your lead. This is telling me that you you have captivated this person on a whole different kind of level. Yeah, and they're taking your lead on things. Wow. Let's see the conversation. First conversation, next conversation. Where are they headed with that one? Nope, it's not coming out yet. Hang on. I'm right here. Oh, is it a conversation, guys? For real? <laughs> Chariot card. It's going to be uh, serious. <laughs> yes. Yes. Chariot card is about precision, flowing together. Um, I, I really get a, a good sense on this, but y'all know the chariot card can sometimes represent libido. I don't know how that conversation is going. Are we saying much? Uh, you, you get my my drift here. And so, yeah. Mm, headed in a good direction, though. But just know they're taking your lead on everything. Let's come back to their energy. <clears throat> I'm going to ask them uh, what they are looking for. When it comes to a love connection, what are they hoping and desiring for? We've got a page of coins. Normally, that's a standstill energy of I need to get clarity first, which I, I absolutely understand because they're taking your lead. Uh, so, they would be at standstill and, and I don't know what to do until you prompt me what I need to do. Oh, I hope you. Hopefully, you're getting my understanding because they're they're just at a standstill energy of uh, I don't know I don't know what to do next. Give me a hint. Give me a clue. Let's see what else. A two of wands. Ooh, young emperor energy. Trying to make a decision, choose a direction. It's hard for them to choose a direction on what what to do. I can already tell. Uh, when it comes to a love connection, they want somebody that knows how to get to lead them, direct them a little bit to help them feel a little more confident that they're not going to make a fool of themselves. So, yeah, let's see if there's anything else they want to bring out. Ooh, tower card. Let's hold on to this tower for a minute. Clarify that for me. Oh, they're feeling emotionally vulnerable. They was not expecting to have the kind of feelings they have for you. And they really want to impress you with that magician card. Oh, this person is feeling it for real. And it's almost like first time love because they're drunk. They're drunk in love. Uh, they are worried about the impression they're making on you. Mm-hmm. They just was not expecting expecting this and expecting to feel <clears throat> the kind of vulnerability. Why are they feeling so intimidated? I want to say intimidated. Let me get some water, y'all. I'm croaking up here. Hmm. The one thing I can tell you, you're coming across as uh, more mature, more wise, more experienced, more of... 
in the know of things more wisdom than this person is feeling for themselves. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's come in on your energy. Let's see what you're hoping for, desiring in the connection. Ooh, Six of Swords, you don't want no drama. Guys, a lot of times when I ask in these readings and stuff, uh, what, what are you looking for in a connection? It's, I get a quicker response from people's energy of what they don't want. What you don't want is drama. Drama, no drama. Nobody that causes a drama. Mm -mm. Ooh. But I'll say, sometimes that Six of Swords can represent travel. You don't want no heartache either. Ooh. Okay. Why are you expecting, guys, because Three of Swords is, is you anticipate. Sometimes you, you get a gut instinct, you anticipate a heartache. So you might be standing and anticipating getting your heart broken. Mm. You're in more of a sit down, not taking action, uh, observing the person right now before you, before you make uh, final decisions about uh, where you want to go with this person. You're definitely glowing up for this person with the with the Empress and the Queen of Wands out. You definitely are really hot looking good. You glow up energy. But you might be glowing so much you've intimidated this person. They weren't expecting it and they're feeling very vulnerable. I'm going to come in on your Three of Swords. What's going on with you and your Three of Swords here? What's that Three of Swords? Clarify that pop. Ooh, hermit introspection, retreat from love, devil energy. You guys, we are definitely uh, coming. This is an indication, guys, we've been in toxic situations before and we do not want back in a toxic situation. Uh, I'm going to ask about your Empress r real quick because Empress, uh, her image just brought something out for me. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Knight of Coins, being grounded and practical. Knight of Swords, slow down, communicate clearly, and I don't want any deceptions. Uh, feeling stuck for a minute and surrendering to I'm not going to take action until I see things clearly and see something that's authentic. Authentic. Uh, temperance. Oh, you definitely in slow down. Let me let me go slow here. Energy. Mm -hmm. What well, the Empress is indication you're very very protective of your heart right now because the baby in in her that she's got holding up to to her chest. I feel like that's your heart more than anything. Of I'm, you've already come through some healing. And you're not willing to get stuck into something. I almost want to say this person may be coming at us and triggering us with some things uh, about uh, immaturity, not confident kind of situ energy we're picking up off of them. I don't know if we're paying attention to it or not. We definitely don't want any deception of any kind. Uh -uh. And we and we do feel stuck right now. We do feel stuck. Surrender, surrendering a two, not moving fast. Okay, let's come on to the conversation real quick. <clears throat> hmm. Let's get this shuffled back up really good. Okay, let's go on to the chariot card. Can we explain the chariot in the conversation? Wheel of Fortune. It's going to be better than we think it will be. Wow, guys. Mm, come, mm. Seven of Swords. Explain Seven of Swords here. Explain the Seven of Swords to me. Pop. Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups. Mm, I almost want to say that's on your energy. 
over here of the heartache, the moving away from the storm. I'm going through a healing process. I don't want to rush anything. And I don't want anybody playing with me right now. Play, being deceptive with me right now. Because we're not wanting to repeat a pattern. But that ace, ace is indicating we lost a lot on the last connection we had. A lot. But it's also opened our eyes and uh, made us a little more withdrawn and private. Because we've been betrayed before in the past. But we lost on a tangible level. Because it, it threw us all the way back to uh, Ace of Pentacles. Huh. Ooh, okay. What else? New love. Hang on. Some of us uh, children may be involved because that child. The conversation is going to end better than we thought it would. And we're going to feel like there was transparency in, in the person. And our faith is going to be a little bit more restored about uh, continuing the conversation with the person. But we are very guarded because we don't, we're like, mm -mm, I'm not going to repeat a pattern here. I'm moving up. I'm not going back into a pattern. Uh, yeah, so we're leery, very leery. But the conversation will lead to where we're a little more open, feeling a little bit more optimistic. It results better. It's going to turn out better than we think it will because we're going to see something clearly where our Faith is being restored a little bit. Oh, and look, bottom of the deck. We've definitely been hurt, guys. And we're carrying that hurt quiet. I don't think this person realizes how much we've been through in the past. I don't think they've realized it. Our wishes were, yeah, were not granted. Because we got the Five of Cups. It was a disappointment left behind. Ow, looky here. This is more of our Empress energy. Uh, one thing, without a doubt, guys, we are looking for accuracy in what people say. We're not allowing our emotions and other people's emotions uh, to influence us um, with that Libra Queen of Swords because she's looking for <clears throat> behaviors to match words. She wants to see accuracy. Uh-huh. Up under it, Two of Swords, putting off making a decision until we see the accuracy of something. Uh, what's the true wishes? I'm not getting my heart. I'm not investing my heart again because I've already been hurt and burned once. Or twice. For some of us, it can be more than once. Yes. Let's go ahead and let me find a deck. Which deck is calling to me to get the brief messages between us? Where are we at? Not that one. Oh, behind me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's get some messages, just brief messages going back and forth between us real quick. Let's give this person over here a chance to talk to us. What they want to say. Okay, let me turn it up because evidently I ain't holding it right. There we go. I need to tell you that I'm sorry. Oh, do they feel like they put their foot in their mouth? Mm. I get excited to talk to you. Let's see your response. I don't want to just dream about you. I want you next to me. Uh-oh. Is, are we in a dis at a distance, guys? Because that six of sword can represent a distance. Hmm. Come over here. I want you so badly. I want you so badly. Yeah, you know, like I said, that conversation, guys, for some reason, libido is coming in. <laughs> so, but it ends up good, guys. We're seeing uh, authentic, the sun, clear things. On you, I just want to be with you. Come back over here on this person. Ooh. There are things about me that you may not like. Yeah, they're worried about that. 
They definitely are. Let's get one more from you. Let's see what else. Oh. I'm beyond crazy about you. Ooh. Okay, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Pisces, I hope it was helpful, guys. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless be. Hi, Pisces. Let's jump into this, guys. We are doing next conversation. What's the next conversation with your person? But this reading is for those of us that have a past and a history in the connection, not a new connection. So, let's jump in. I'm going to pull their energy and your energy. Just know that the energies can be reversed. Take it however it resonates for you. Let's jump in, guys. Ooh, what flipped out? I'm not taking it because it came out before I got a shuffle, uh, full shuffle, but I'm going to show it to you. Ecstasy. State of great happiness and joy. Overwhelming, unexplainable feeling. Transcending to another spiritual realm. And euphoric-like experience. Oh, guys. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm going to pull their energy first. Show me my Pisces. Strongest one forward. Connection with history for Pisces. Their person, please. Pop. We've got silent treatment, immature behavior, passive aggressiveness, guilt for past action, not acknowledging their fault. One more on the bottom. Codependent. Can't live without each other. One can't exist. Uh, one can't exist alone. Lacking independence. Stuck like glue. Stuck like glue. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm really picking up the codependent. I can't survive without you. You know, on a material level. It's more of, I don't want to survive without you. Hmm. And also picking up the friction on Twin Flame. Twin Flame soulmate kind of connection. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do your energy. Let's do your energy. Mm, disappointing news. A message that brings sadness and grief dealing with reality. Whirlwind of emotions. Unexpected disruption of plans. Whirlwind of emotions most definitely popped on that one for me. But on the bottom we've got darkness. Hiding their truth. Choosing the wrong path. Lonely and depressed. Low vibrational energy. The fact that we did get that ecstasy flew out before I got the full shuffle. I got a feeling somebody is lifestyle. Some, you know, lifestyle escapism, fun, let's, you know, not get, have to be serious all the time. Maybe causing some issues uh, in the connection of somebody not wanting to take things serious and really start to get serious and, you know, build a solid foundation. Mm. But it's definitely got us in a whirlwind of emotions. And like I said, this one, I'm not picking it up as, you know, uh, I'm, I'm having to live off of your income kind of situation. It's more of, I don't want to be without you. Um, almost like abandonment issue, kind of. It's the separation from, you know what I'm talking about? Um, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Um, from like childhood separation anxiety, that kind of thing. Hmm, interesting. Pisces. Hmm. Let's jump in, guys. I am using uh, the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. I do have some of the cards reversed. About a fourth of the deck, um, I put I put in reversals. Don't normally do that, but I was compelled to this time for some reason to use the reversals. Let's see what's going to happen here. Let's come in on the, uh, your person, first person energy over here. We've got a chariot. There's some definite friction trying to get things uh, to flow together, in harmony together. But it's also, sometimes our chariot card is, you know, it's about a back and forth motion. <laughs> Guys, precision. Hit the spot. Park the car. Parallel park it. <laughs> yes. But in all honesty, it can represent libido. Uh, stuck like glue. 
that's sort of what it reminds me of is we've got a connection where uh, on this person's side they need a lot of physicalness they crave a lot of the physical um, connection with us mm -hmm. what else Got a three of pentacles, the blueprint, how to move forward together. But they also, that's about acclimates. Mm -hmm. Wanting to feel appreciated uh, in the connection. Mm -hmm. And page of pentacles. They're in a little bit of a standstill energy. Uh, trying to figure things out. Um, let's keep going here a minute. Tell me more about the three of pentacles. What is that? Two of Cups, energy, compromise, sacrifices, being in equal give and take. And they definitely don't feel confident in that area. Three of Pentacles is about, you know, the Pentacles are manifesting, building something tangible. This person is lacking confidence and where I said uh, they don't live off of our income, they actually, we may be doing more than they, they are. I don't know how else to put it because they're lacking confidence uh, with that Five of Swords energy in that area. They feel like the equal give and take on that Two of Cups is a little off balance. And I'm feeling it more on, they feel like it's they're the one lacking. Let's put it that way because they're at page uh, trying to figure, the Page of Pentacles trying to figure out how to manifest and bring in more, how to grow more and on a tangible level let's come over to you guys i'm surprised none of the uh reversals come out because all the other readings i, I had to reassure everyone uh, i promise the whole deck's not reversed <laughs> yes let's see what's going on oh we've got a tower on reversed on you guys okay that's okay because the tower card is about change it's about obstacles being removed but when it comes in reversed, it's showing a resistance to change. Hmm. See what else is it? Let's get a little bit more on, on that tower. Mm -hmm. We've got a ten of cups. Ten of wands. And we're our stress card, guys. Hmm. Stress card. Needless stress and anxiety. Guys, we're going through some kind of a change. Definitely. On on this person, uh, what did we get? Disappointing news. There was something that's disrupted the harmony <laughs> uh, and uh, brought down a, a load on us. That happiness, the fulfillment of something. But it's triggered off a lot of stress, anxiety, and worry. Let's see if I can get a little bit more on that reversed tower in the disruptive news. What was that? The sun card. Happiness. Clarity is gone. Happiness is because sun card's on his head. So something major has happened. We got major arcanas uh, representing what's happened. The disruption of what's happened. And we've got a page of cups. We're feeling emotionally vulnerable during this time for some reason. Hmm. I don't know what it is, and I, I'm, I, I can't pin, pinpoint it. Let's come back over to this person's energy. See if I can get a little bit more of what they're talking about. They're feeling insecure, like they're not able to help very much, like they're not important, bringing in enough to the connection. Um, Nine of Pentacles, things are going slow. Virgo energy, moving forward slow in the matter. When they really want it to move fast. <laughs> yes. Yes. Two nights. <clears throat> whatever, whatever it is, they are taking action towards trying to figure things out. Uh-huh. That page of pentacles. It's got them at standstill, but they are fig starting to get some movement going. A little bit of directions, but y'all know Virgo energy, any earth energy moves really slow. Uh huh. But they're being very grounded and practical, but they are frustrated. They wish that things could change quicker for them. And like I said, we've got, we've, it's, it's like they feel like they need to do more. They need to bring more in, but they're feeling cut down and defeated by uh, being able to show up for us and, and how do I put it? Shoulder part of the, 
the burden that's on us. Take it's hard for them to, for whatever reason, to take half of that load off of you, uh, or it's it it makes it feel like to them they're not able to do enough for you, because uh, the energy over here is going through a rough time. I don't know what it, I don't know exactly what's disrupted the fulfillment. <clears throat> but it's emotionally vulnerable, and uh, we are triggered off, guys, big time, with that Nine of Swords energy. A lot of stress. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ew, it's going to bring me back up here to the silent treatment. The silent treatment. I don't think... And, and, mm, I keep looking at her, and it's, it's almost like uh, your person is looking at you over here. Just not wanting to talk, not intentionally doing it to <clears throat> make them feel bad, you know, you know what I'm saying? But because you seem to be withdrawn and going through a lot right now, you just may not be your normal self with them. And it's, it's really got them concerned, but it's got them moving to take some action and figure some things out. Frustrating because they want it to go faster. See the next conversation. Next conversation, where is that headed for us? Mm, talk to me. Oh, I'm just seeing the bottom of the deck. Hiding truth. Empress, my... Mm. Let's hold this. I want to hold the energy because we got one already popped right there, guys. But the bottom of the deck called me back to it. The silence, you not talking. They're not sure what's going on with you. Lonely and depressed, low vibrational energy. We definitely got a dark cloud on on you over here. In Empress energy, yeah. Burdens. Wow, guys, y'all are truly stressed out. And your person is trying, trying, trying to figure out what to do, how to do, how to, how to help relieve some of it. And like I said, we may just be not feeling like talking a whole lot and that just not ourself right now conversation where is it head nine of wands oh it's moving forward we've shot the wand out we've got a little bit of direction sagittarius energy it actually actually may have us talking about um moving in a new direction seriously like get up and move to a different location uh, Knight of Wands energy, uh, he is our mover. He's our action. He puts things into action. But I'm picking it up. Maybe, maybe like, relocate for job reason? Something. A relocation. Talking about relocation. Uh, which dir the direction? A, a new direction. Let's see what else. Judgment. Rebirth energy. Guys, I like this. This is a recognition. And it is rising from the ashes, feeling, a, you'll start to feel better, let's put it this way. But, um, asking opinions, what's your thoughts, your judgment on this kind of thing. But it's how to rebuild from a collapse of something. Temperance card, hmm, how quick can we do it? You did get the tower and it's reversed. Thank God, no wonder. There's so much stress, guys, cause and, and it is the resistance. I can't, I don't like this. But just know, Pisces, if you're identified whichever one, it doesn't matter because I feel y'all in a, a pretty tight bond. It's just a hard, stressful time right now. Whichever one, the tower always brings in blessings. It's divine intervention. It feels like it happens so sudden. Everything comes crumbling down. But once the dust starts to settle, the blessing starts to roll in. The opportunities, you start to see things much clearer. The, the heaviness does lift, guys. And it usually, like I said, because it's divine intervention. Divine. It's orchestrated for a reason to bring in something that was better for you. Uh, the tower represents things that have been holding you back and oppressing you. So expect some really, really powerful stuff to come your way. Both of you in your connection and especially if it's you on a personal level. Eight of Swords, don't get off track. Stay focused. This is a self-restrictor, but, but it's also self-restrictive in a good way. What's on the bottom of the deck? Five of Cups. Letting go of the grievance, seeing the blessings that still remain for us. 
Uh huh. So we have lost something, and nine of pentacles. Guys, cultivate this. Freedom, independence. Think freedom and independence. Um, confidence. Oh, and four of wands. We are actually growing a tighter bond here. We are stepping up into something more solid that brings freedom and independence. But we are letting go going through a grieving process. We did lose something. But like I said, five, you know, there's five. There's two still standing, so there's more to come for us. I like this. I, what I wanted to tell you about the Eight of Swords, guys, is the bright side of the Eight of Swords, the empowering uh, side of the Eight of Swords, is you don't allow circumstances and other people's opinions to sway you in the direction you're going. Uh -huh, outside inter influences and interference, you're no, you blind yourself to... And the swords, you line them up and stay straight in those swords. Your thoughts, where you're going. I love this because this has us going somewhere. The next, the conversation has us reinventing, re moving, locating, movement. Taking time, being grounded in it, not rushing it. And it's major, guys, because we got uh, temperance and judgment here. Mm, I love it. Ooh, judgment, recognizing something, reawakening something. Temperance is the alchemy, the balance coming back. And we're not going to be distracted anymore. Because we, if you look, we're going from nine, needless stress and anxiety, back to stay focused. You're on the right path. This is the right path. But our conversation is like, are we in agreement on it? Are we, what do you think kind of conversation? So, it's either way, guys, we're headed into something amazing. Uh, coming out of some really hard times. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get the conversation going. Let me see what deck. We're going to get brief messages from both of you. Let's see what which one here. <clears throat> oh, okay. My smaller deck, yeah. Get the energy on it. Here we go. Let's let uh, your person go first. See what they want to say. <clears throat> I'm afraid to tell you. I'm afraid to tell you. I look for you everywhere. Uh oh. And please don't give up on me. Oh, so they're definitely where you're giving up. Uh huh. Let's come over to you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I'm so confused. Hmm. Let's come back to them real quick. Let's get some more from them. Please trust me. Oh. Anything else? Anything else on it? Yeah. There's so much I wish I could say. This love overwhelms me. Oh. Let's come back on to your energy real quick. I'm loving you with every heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I got two, three more hanging out. I can't stop thinking about you. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you how I feel. One more here. I'm here for you. Oh, Pisces guys, that's what I said. I mean, I feel I feel a t like a tight connection. But it is a hard time for whoever's standing in that energy. And like I said, I was reading it as your energy, and it's just hard, guys, things will get better, for real, mm -hmm. let's pull <clears throat> romance, angel, oracles, I'm going to get your higher self, your spirit guides, uh, to chime in about the next conversation, anything they want to point out to you, to keep in mind on the next conversation that you have, let's see what's coming out, oh, pop, we got our first one, Oh, unrequited. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Guys, beware because this person over here is, they don't know. They're feeling defeated and cut down. What was it? Um, I look for you everywhere. I'm afraid to tell you. This person's anticipating that uh, you're going to be like, I need to move on. I'm better, my life would be better without you, kind of thing. 
This is the reason it's pushing them to figure things out on a tangible level really quick. Reassure them in the conversation. Um, you're still feeling it for them. Because all the answers, uh, all the, your messages over here, you're still feeling it. But this person is very worried for that one to come out. Yeah. Make sure there's reassurance of um, <clears throat> no lost love in, in the conversation. Because I don't feel like we're lo we're looking to break up. Nope. New love. New person has a stirred your romantic feelings. Ah, hang on to it. I'm going to see what's coming next. Because that one's bothersome. That, that means somebody's mind has went truly into... Is there someone else? Is that the reason you're so quiet? Is that the reason you're so unhappy? That kind of thing. Do you want someone else? Ow. A lot of insecurity uh, covering over this. So, guys. And then the next one, we got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Oh, guys. Okay. So, yeah. Let go of control issues is on the bottom. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. Like I said... Uh, the fact that Spirit's bringing that out and that out, reassure somebody of uh, you're not leaving them behind. Because the conversation is about movement. Getting up and relocating, moving, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Just reassure them you want them to go with you. <laughs> Which I have sense you, you actually do. At least, I, you know, I feel like it, but yeah. Just know that's going to be in the conversation also. Let's get you a lover's oracle before I close you up. Oh, oh, we got two that stood up pretty. Let's get the dove here. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I like that. Mm -hmm. New beginnings. Better. Unrestricted. Un no oppression. Nothing bearing down on you. This is the first time I noticed there's hands. Guys, how many times have I pulled this card and never noticed there's a silhouette of hands down here? That is so cool. I'm sorry. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Take that one as you will. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and spirit is not cueing me tonight other than, do you? Do you have, is there someone that's made their, late, what, lady in red? What is just what come to mind? Person in red. Person in red means um, somebody that intimidates your partner because they are way overboard with you, showering you with attention, and, and this person doesn't trust them. It's not that they don't trust you. It's that they don't trust the other person. Is there someone else? Because... That's showing you too much attention? I don't know. That's sort of how uh, my brain's putting it together. Guys, I hope it was helpful for you. I'm sending you love and light. Bless be.